All right, so the goal is to try to get as thin as possible. Now, unfortunately, I've got a couple tears, but that's okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fold it up. And um, it's a combination of folding. So we're going to fold this over. And we basically want to make a packet, like a square. Now, the dough is ex incredibly elastic right now, and I'm just getting some more butter and coating that again. And I'm gonna let this sit aside and rest while I get the next one. So as you can see, I have um, two of these packets already, and I'll do the next fall. And it really is just slow going. You can't rush it because it ends up tearing. Um, I'm not really needing the rolling pin at all, but um, you know, you might want to start off with the rolling pin if you're not used to stretching dough like this. But really, you have to go slow and you have to be patient. You see how it keeps springing back? So the flour needs, you need to stretch it. That's how I, the gluten, I keep telling you the gluten strands are like rubber bands. So as you can see, if I press it out, it pulls right back, okay? That is the gluten in the flour. And uh, so you have to just be patient, gently work it, slow going and you want to try to get very thin you want to be able to see through it and then you fold it up all right so now i've got the third one out and unfortunately there's a bunch of tears but as you can see this is my first time doing it so we need to learn and then i'm going to place this in the middle I'll stretch that out and we're going to fold our layer over it so A little tricky I think I, as time goes the more I do this I'll obviously get better at it but this is my first time doing it so um, forgive the tears so then I'm gonna let this one set aside and then I'll get a, another one and then we'll wrap it I think we'll do three layers all right so I'm gonna let this rest and then when we're finished, we're gonna put it into this cake pan, eight inch cake pan and bake it in the oven. So I'm just gonna do one now. So I'll do one and that'll be the packet inside of the next one. I'm gonna let them rest a bit longer. Hopefully that'll work, but I'll get this one in the oven first, see how it turns out. All right, so this time I didn't rip it as badly. Uh, I did a more of like a feathering motion and um, let it rest a lot. I went very slow. And so we're gonna put in the middle our two wrapped layers. And again, we're gonna wrap this up and over. Then this way. Yeah, it's very elastic and very thin and rips easily. All right, great. So now we have our dough made like this and put it into our cake pan. And I'm gonna spread it out so it's more like a round shape and it gets a bit thinner. If you don't have a cake pan, you could just bake it on a sheet pan and leave it in that form. But I too want to try to get a bit thinner and more round shaped. So I think I'm going to have to um, let it rest a bit and then I can push it out more. So I'm going to let this rest for 10 minutes, push it down again, 
and then put it in the oven and bake. All right, so I let it rest and I press it out to the edges and now we're gonna get this in a 450 degree oven and it's gonna bake for about 10 minutes. All right, so this looks like it's getting done. It's been in there for 10 minutes, but we're not getting any color on it and that's because the cake pan is so high. So I think I'm gonna turn it out onto this half sheet pan, put it back in and get some color on it. Also, this is feeling a little dry, so I'm gonna brush on some more butter. All right, the timer's gone off and yeah, there we go. Now we're getting that beautiful golden brown color that we need. All right, so that looks like it's done. I'm gonna take this out. Beautiful. I gotta let it cool and then I can slice into it and show you what it looks like on the inside and enjoy it. Maybe I'll drizzle it with some honey. All right, and then here are the last two. And uh, I made one free form, so you can see that you don't need the cake pan. So if you don't have a cake pan, you don't need it. You can just do it free form. And the nice golden brown color. I don't want to leave it any longer, as we can even get dark over there. So um, last stage, we're going to brush the butter on the top, and that'll give it a nice glossy sheen. And you can hear the crackling. It's pretty hot. 450 degree oven. And this also give it some extra moisture and make it very glossy. So, oh man, I'm looking forward to digging into this. This should be very good. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna cut this right in half. Now this is a chef knife and probably a serrated knife would be better. But I'm gonna cut this into wedges and then you can see what it looks like. So here's the inside. You've got these layers just like the croissant of the dough. And just then just dip it in the honey. And you could put powdered sugar on top. This is our Egyptian fatir. Four cups of all-purpose flour, 20 ounces. Two tablespoons of sugar. One and a half cups of water. Quarter teaspoon of salt. One cup of unsalted butter. Quarter cup of canola oil. Enjoy, everybody. I hope you like it.